Hey, good morning. It's Troy Bishop with my friend Mike Femia, the videographer. And we're out here on the last day of grazing on the Bishop family farm in 2014. And welcome. Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to do a little bit and show you what's left of our planned grazing. There's still quite a bit of grass um, that's been resting here since August 1st. It's, this is basically a 140 day old forage that they're eating. Um, it's a little bit better than hay. The quality is probably around 12%, 13%. And you can kind of tell that by coming over here and looking at the cow pie. A perfect cow pie is one that looks like a pumpkin pie with a divot in the middle. And then a road apple is one that piles up real hard. Well, this is kind of in the middle. It's still kind of fluid. Um, so it's, it's not bad. Uh, these are basically bred heifers that are gonna calve in March and April. So this is, this is feed that they can eat and do okay on. Um, it'd be great if there was a little bit more protein, but there isn't. We've basically been planning for them to graze until today. We've set the plan in motion in April. We kept adjusting and finding out how much forage. We kept monitoring. And if you've been following me on my website, thegrasswhisperer.com, I've been chronicling every week from October 17th till today on my grazing chart. Go take a look at it. You'll find that here we are. The goal was January 1st and we met the goal. Um, so next year's goal, January 5th, January 10th. Um, we had planned for this to happen. So that means we had to think about rest periods. We had to think about um, stocking rate. We had to think about um, paddock shifts and to make this kind of forage so you can graze here in the winter in the Northeast. Uh, the problem is um, we're in the Northeast. It rains a lot, it sleets, it's snowed. Um, it's tough on the old grass and this is cool season grass mostly with legumes in here. Um, it doesn't stand up to the weather conditions as well as say fescue or maybe corn. Um, so it is what it is. Um, we're doing the best we can with it. On the other thing besides the cows uh, munching on this standing hay is uh, we got 12, 15 deer running around. We got to feed them. We've also got uh, mice in here making tunnels and chewing up the sod. You see how they've made this little tunnel down in here. Um, then we actually have we actually have earthworms working, um, working hard actually. To then they're also using all this grass. So there's a lot going on here actually. Even though it's uh, on the eve of. New Year's Eve, there's a lot of dynamics going on. And one other thing I wanted to show you why this is important is the stream over here. Because with all this sod, we won't have any runoff for our soils in our next generation. See how the banks are very flat? And the stream kind of meanders back and forth. It's fully vegetated on both sides. You can see there's no fence here. That's because I want them to graze it and then get out of here. So it's a planned activity, one that I think um, adds a benefit to our community and our neighbors downstream. And it's very planned out. We have a front coming in for our uh, Parasil neighbors. And just like that, we started off Pretty nice, and pretty soon we're going to be in a lake effect. Woohoo! Happy New Year!